about to speak to you this morning. God is about to speak to you. He's our Kuluma Naubawa this morning. Um, greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Let me answer my husband quickly. He's calling. I don't know why. Sorry.
saints in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, he is worthy to be praised. Uh, he is worthy to be praised. Um, you know, uh, I've been so challenged since since last night. I've been so challenged, challenge after challenge. Even this morning, uh, I've been challenged. I didn't even think that I was gonna make this time. I made it just. I made it just. If, so if if I look frazzled, it's because I am frazzled. Thank you, Kakam, for saying I'm looking good. I didn't feel good at all. I feel I felt like I'm just just doing. I'm just gonna plaster this lipstick and just show up. I just needed to show up this morning. That's all I needed was showing up, and that to me it is it is a testament to the goodness of God. That is preaching enough. Just me showing up this morning. If you knew what I've been through since last night until now until like just uh, a few minutes ago but God is good God is good is worth it to be praised so this is a fight for me this is a fight I'm fighting this morning I'm in not in a good mood I'm in a fighting mode so we are going to pray we are going to pray and I hope I have people who are willing to pray this morning who are ready to take up the fight to the enemy who are ready to fight for their destinies because I'm tired I'm really tired I'm sick and tired of being held up I'm sick and tired of being being imprisoned I'm sick and tired of everything that has been going on in my life and I'm fighting and I'm in a fighting mood and when I'm in a fighting mood I fight I fight I fight I fight unfairly I fight recklessly I just fight so I want people who are ready and saying I want to fight with you prophet this morning so let's let's go let's fight let's take up the fight I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus let me acknowledge you uh, I see you uh, our evangelist Ben Masri, I see you. Thank you for coming in, woman of God. I welcome you. Tobisa, I see you. Welcome as well. Katamba, I see you. Zuki, welcome. Nkwanda, welcome. Yolanda, hi, my baby. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, uh, Joy, Kuza, thank you, Saki, for coming in. Uh, the, I see Divine Purpose. Thank you so much for coming in, woman of God, as well. I welcome you. Uh, Lusisana, I see you as well. Asanda, welcome my baby thank you for coming in to lile uh, zandile i see you i welcome you guys thank you for being with me uh, this morning zamega i see you are coming in thank you for coming in as well uh, thank you for coming in up and i've been challenged i've been challenged challenge after challenge challenge and on top of that i have school i have to do assignments i have to submit assignments on top of my own challenge so it's been a roller coaster ride of of trying to to fight just for 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 my life just for survival and all these things that are going around me uh, sickness and all these things there's so much that is going on so it's been a, a, a really really such a, a fight quite a struggle but we put one foot forward and we don't give we don't go back forward uh, ever backwards never we're not going back Bulelani I see you thank you for coming in we are not going backwards we are going forward moving with God and moving forward in spite and despite of everything that is coming in Tabila, see you my baby, thank you for coming in, in spite of everything that is going on, we move forward we forge forward, we don't go back, we forge forward so we are going to pray this morning I'm in a mood to pray and I'm hoping that you are going to pray wherever you are, just, just make sure that you pray, if you are in somewhere that you can't pray loud, just make sure you pray in your spirit, we're gonna lift up a prayer and we are going to fight, there's a few things that I want to to pray about this morning I want to start in the book of Jeremiah chapter number 29 the book of Jeremiah chapter number 29 uh, we will read from verse number 4 to verse number nine but they, then we we are going to pray these are prayer points i'm not gonna preach this i'm gonna pray this so be ready to pray spooky i see you thank you for coming in as well uh, jeremiah 29 verse 4 to 9 i'm going to read this is what the lord almighty the god of israel says to all those i carried into exile from jerusalem to babylon build houses and settle down plant gardens and eat 
to what they produce, marry and have sons and daughters, find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters increase in number there do not decrease also seek the peace and prosperity of the city which I have carried you into exile pray to the Lord for it because if it prospers you too will prosper yes this is what the Lord Almighty the God of Israel says do not let the prophets and the diviners among you deceive you do not listen to the dreams that you and are you encourage them to have they are prophesying lies to you in my name I have not sent them declares the Lord the Lord is speaking to the nation of Israel Zimbini welcome I thank you for coming in the Lord is speaking to the nation of Israel they are in exile in Babylon at this time and God is speaking life upon that situation I want us to pray this morning and pray that God is saying to the nation of Israel whatever place you are in at this time whatever situation that you are in at this time God is speaking prosperity he says prosper in that land I want you to prosper in that land I want you to build houses in that land I want you to plant vineyards in that land let your children get married in that land therefore whatever situation we are in God has placed prosperity upon us we are not supposed to be defined by the area and the situation we are in we are supposed to prosper our spirits are supposed to prosper wherever you are it might look like it is a desert what you where you are in but God is saying to us this morning I have placed prosperity upon you whether the world or people have exiled you whether you think that you are in exile in that place that you are in but God is saying to us this morning prosperity it is upon you it is locked in you you are not defined by the location your location is a spiritual location and not the physical location therefore I want us to pray and say father let me prosper in this situation that I am in let me prosper in this exile that I am in let me prosper I take up prosperity for it is my portion I take up prosperity because it is mine I will prosper I will get married in a season when people don't get married I will get married in a season when people are struggling I will not struggle I will prosper in this exile that I am in you are calling me to prosper therefore Lord I am going to prosper thank you father that you are prospering this morning oh we find ourselves in desert places we find ourselves in exile oh God we have been exiled in our own bodies by sickness and disease we have been exiled in our own homes by lack and poverty we have been exiled in our minds by depression and all those things but Lord you are saying we need to prosper in that land we need to build houses in this place that looks like it's a desert that looks like it's a place of exile but you are calling us to prosper I speak prosperity over everyone that is listening to my voice this morning oh let them prosper in the name of Jesus I speak oh God houses and lands and vineyards I speak keys lending into their hands supernatural provision in the name of Jesus I release the favor of God upon everyone listening to my voice yes Lord exile Babylon does not define us we live in a location in the spirit take us oh God to a location in the spirit let us be transported in our minds to a location in the spirit in the name of Jesus marriages yes you will marry in a season where others don't marry God is saying marry get married in that place that looks like it is dead but God is saying your relationship is not dead I am reviving it I am putting life in that relationship you will prosper says God this is your season of prosperity in no way never you are in that workplace that you are in the Lord says prosper in that place you are tired you want to get out but God says I am not getting you out of that place yes I expect your soul to prosper in that place you are praying and saying 
I want to leave. But God is saying, stay in that exile and build houses and plant vineyards and prosper in the land where others are struggling. Prosper, says God. I am calling you to prosperity this morning. The Lord is releasing an anointing and a grace to prosper in strange places. The anointing and the grace to thrive in a land that wants to squeeze life out of you. But God is saying, you shall thrive in that foreign land. You shall thrive in that foreign place. You shall thrive among those foreign people. You shall thrive, says God, plant vineyards. Yes, buy a house in that foreign land, says God, and prosper. This is your place. I have given you the land. Oh, move in the spirit and move away from the flesh. Your location is in the spirit, says God. I am locating you in the spirit. Don't live in your flesh. It's not your portion. It's not your place. You are a person of the spirit. Therefore, prosper, says God. Prosper. I am calling you to prosperity. So says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. And then he says, I want, I love the last part. He says, it is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. It is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. I want us to pray and say, Father, I believe you. I don't believe the, the narrative around me. My God, I choose to believe you this morning. I choose to believe your word. I choose to believe what you are saying because this is what you are saying. It looks like it is far-fetched. It looks like it's not going to happen. But I choose to believe you because you say this is what you are saying. And you, if you have said it, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we choose Mandarin. We choose to believe your word, oh God. We choose to believe against believing. We choose to believe what you are saying. This doesn't make sense. Our situation doesn't make sense. It looks dead even to us, not only to others. It looks like a dead end. But Lord, you are saying this morning we need to prosper. Therefore, if you said it, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, we choose to believe what you are saying. We choose to believe your word, oh God. We are taking your word. We are taking you at your word. In the name of Jesus, what you say goes. What you say goes. What you say goes. I don't know what the Lord has said to you, but the Lord is saying to you, what I have said goes. Believe my word. Believe my prophets and you shall prosper. The Lord says what I say goes. Whatever I have said to you, it goes. This morning we need to believe. We need to shut our ears to the voices of the enemy. The Lord says and believe what I have said. Believe my word. Therefore, Lord, we believe you. We believe your word. This is what you have said and you will believe it. We shall prosper in foreign lands. We shall prosper in dry grounds. Oh my God, like Isaac was digging walls in a land that was dry and he kept on digging walls. The Lord says, this is your portion this morning. You shall dig walls in foreign lands. You shall dig lands in, in, in desert places. You shall dig walls. You shall prosper. You shall have water when others are dry. The Lord says, I am releasing water upon your life. Yes, even on your spirit to Today, you have reached a place of dryness. You are thinking, Lord, I am dry. I can't even hear the word. I can't even hear the preachers. Even church has lost taste to me. But the Lord says, I am releasing today an anointing upon your life to, for waters to run in that dry ground. I am reviving you. The Lord says, I'm sending a revival into your spirit. Yes, I am reviving you this morning. Wake up. Take up, oh God, take up your baton and run. Take up, oh God, take up your garment and part the waters. Take up where you left off and run. A revival is coming into your spirit. I am awakening you. This morning I am awakening you. I have come to awaken 
you. I have come to run water in that desert. The Lord says, waters are running into your soul, into your spirit. Yes, you're going to sing a new song. Yes, you are going to sing a new song. You are going to sing a new song. Your prayer life is being revived. A revival has come into your spirit. Your prayer, it will change. You will not start where you left off. For the Lord says, I am shooting you to the next level because you have paid a price at this level. You endured at this level. Therefore, you are not going back to this level. The Lord says, I am shooting you to the next level. You will go to the next dimension. You will go because now you have experience. Because now you have paid the price of endurance and perseverance amongst things that wanted to swallow you up but you stood and the Lord says I am shooting you to the next dimension because you stood against standing you believed against believing and the Lord says I am sending you to the next level of your anointing and your grace let's move on let's move on to the next prayer point I want us to go to the book of Genesis the book of Genesis. No, let's start in the. I want to skip Genesis, and I want to go to the book of Exodus, chapter twenty-three. Exodus chapter twenty-three. We'll read from verse number twenty-two, three. It says, "My angel will go ahead of you." And bring you into the land of the Amorites, the Hevites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites. And I will wipe them out. Oh, we have enemies. We have things that are standing before us. We have so, so many things that are standing. Walls that we can't penetrate. Things that we cannot defeat. We have things standing before us. And the Lord is saying to, to us this morning, those things, I am bringing them down. I am wiping them out. The enemies that have stood before you, that have stood before your ministry. Apostle Sima, the Lord is saying, I am bringing those walls down. I am pulling. I am wiping. I am sending an angel to fight for you. I am sending. I am releasing an angelic company to guard you, to guard your children. The things that are making you struggle. The Lord says, I am wiping out. I am wiping them out. The enemies that are standing before you. Even the enemies in your mind. The Lord says, I am giving you a clear mind, a sound mind. You are going to think straight for I am wiping those enemies that are standing in your mind that make you struggle to think. Yes, it is a time for you not to struggle. You have fought all these Hivites, all these Jebusites for a while. And the Lord says, I'm declaring a season where I am releasing an angelic company to wipe out the enemies that are standing before you. Let us pray and say, Father, release the angelic company to wipe out out the enemies that are standing before me. I know you are tired. I know you are exhausted. I know you've been fighting for too long. Now you are tired. You are saying, Lord, if you don't come and rescue me this time, I am giving up. And the Lord says, I have come to rescue you. I have come to cancel that narrative, to cancel that spirit that wants to swallow you up and take you back where you came from. I am releasing an angelic company to go and fight for you. Uh, you are going to feel a refreshing. The times of refreshing are coming upon you. Refreshment is invading your house, is invading your room, is invading that office right now. Feel the presence, the breath of God. Feel the freshness, the coolness of God entering into that space. Yes, I am moving in the coolness right now coming where you are to refresh you, to strengthen you, to give you zeal. You had lost your zeal. The Lord says, I'm renewing your zeal. I am giving you the zeal again. You will have the zeal. You will hunger. You will thirst for my things. You love me once more, says God. Father, thank you. Mandaribo shaya. Andaribo kosete rebo shaya. Andakabara shuta. Oh, thank you for an angelic company that you are releasing.
listen right now right now right now right now with answers right now an angelic company yes oh god or oh, to fight the jebusites to fight the hemorrhites that have been standing before us oh it's been season after season fighting the jebusite fighting the amorites and when we think we are done that comes the hevites lord oh god send down an angelic company to go and fight for us in the name of jesus wipe out every enemy of our destiny wipe out every enemy of our lives wipe out every enemy of our finances wipe out every enemy of our lives wipe out every enemy of our health wipe out every enemy of our marriage wipe out every enemy of our workplace wipe out enemies oh god send angels mandari boshaya le bereshata kabara suteya kata bashata right now right now mandere boshaya le bereshaya kabara suta right now lord angels or dispatch angels into our situations right now in the name of jesus oh lord we feel helpless right now send an angelic company to rescue us in the name of jesus oh we need you lord we need you we need you we can make it the next hour without you we can make it the next day without you we need you oh god dispatch those angels to come and save to come and redeem to come oh god and and change our lives oh in the name of jesus wipe out oh god depression wipe out oppression wipe out pain wipe out oh hunger wipe out let wipe out oh god confusion and strife wipe out oh god anything that comes against our destiny in the name of jesus oh we thank you lord for what you are doing mandari boshaya rebeya kabara suteya oh shanda kabara site rebele ke sete ya baba shutere eshe kete rebobosha manda kadaya basuta ya kata eshe rebete kete ya suta li kabara sute ya shata mandere ketele bobosha ndaka pa usha daka bara duzele eke edebe kete ya zuda dadabaka dazudele eshe ndeke dele ke eshe kete ya bata katara bosite ya undere kebele sete ya shuta ah thank you jesus mandere bobo shanda thank you lord jesus we bless your name let's continue same scripture it says do not bow down before their gods or worship them or follow their practices you must demolish them break and uh, break their sacred stone to pieces you know that there are times there are times i found myself yesterday as i was going through a lot yesterday I found my 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 mind wandering to to places that I I it should not be going to wandering to 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 places because I'm 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 having strife and I I need answers that I can get I found my mind wandering and and going to places sometimes we 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 want to worship the things that we, sh- we should not worship because we are in trouble and God is saying do not worship do not fall into worship I know believers who have gone to consult sangomas who have gone to go and to fortune tellers because they need answers because they were desperate for answers but God is saying do not go to those places do not go to those those places you need to destroy those things and not fellowship with them there are things that you are fellowshipping with that you know that you should have destroyed there are things that you are keeping but the lord is saying break them down break down those things don't fellowship with them break them down whatever you need to break down at this point let's pray and say father i will not worship i refuse to worship other gods i refuse to worship idols 
I refuse to worship money. I refuse to worship people. I bring down everything that stands, oh God, as a God in my life. I bring down anything that wants to raise itself above the name of God in my life. Father, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, Lord, as we are struggling, the enemy is bringing answer after answer. is bringing us answer after answer. Lord, may we not bow down to any foreign God. May we not bow down to any other God. May we not bow down to the things of the enemy. May we not bow down, Lord of God, to idols. May we not bow down, oh Father, to things we have in our homes. Oh, may we break the things we are supposed to break. May we bring down the things that we are supposed to bring down. May we demolish anything that wants to raise itself above the knowledge of God in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we are called to uproot. Yes, Lord, I uproot anything that stands as a God of Father in the minds of the people that are listening to me right now. The power and the authority of the prophet to uproot right now. I go into their homes and I uproot anything that stands against them. Oh Lord, I demolish any altar of darkness, any altar of darkness in your home. I demolish in the name of Jesus anything that brings strife and struggle in your life. I cancel in the name of Jesus. Now the power and the authority of the blood of Jesus to destroy strongholds, to pull down strongholds in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the power of the blood, erase all bad things, to erase all bad murmurs, to erase all pain, to erase by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that, oh God, we refuse to worship oh, even our jobs, even money, even our families, we refuse to worship anything, oh God, that raises itself above the knowledge of God. We pull down strongholds in our minds. We pull down strongholds, limitations in our minds. We pull down limitations, oh God, obstructions. We pull them down in the name of Jesus. We roll away stones from their hearts so that Christ may rise and be resurrected in us. We roll away every stone standing in our hearts for the resurrection of Christ in us. We roll away stones in our hearts. Let Christ be resurrected in the name of Jesus. I speak a resurrection in our spirits, in our hearts. I speak a resurrection. Christ resurrected in us. Oh God, this morning, resurrect hope, resurrect love, resurrect oh God, the fear of the Lord, resurrect the love of God, resurrect wisdom, resurrect knowledge, revelation, resurrect dying things and dead things in our lives, resurrect in the name of Jesus, oh the power of God, the power that raised Christ from the dead lives within us, I activated this morning within you, I activate the power, I speak to that power, I command it to life, to come alive in the name of Jesus. The power that raised Christ from the dead lives within you. I charge it this morning. I charge that power. I charge that power. I charge that power by the blood of Jesus, by the name of Jesus. I charge that power within you. You are not defeated. You are not defeated in the name of Jesus. You are not defeated by the power of the blood of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead inside of you. You are not defeated in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for life and life abundantly. We thank you for life, oh God, and life abundantly. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shikabaya Sutarabasheya. Thank you. Shukatarabashutaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then verse 25 it says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on you, your food, your water. I will take away sickness from among you, and many will and none will miscarry or be barren. 
in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. Oh, there's so much fear that's going around. Fear of death. I think 2020, 2021 have brought so much fear of death in our in our minds. Every little thing, we think we are going, going to die. Everything that happens to us, we think we are going to die. God is saying to you, us this morning, worship the Lord, your God, and these blessings will be on your food and your water. I don't know who's left in food and water who's lacking in anything and God is saying I am releasing blessings upon your life this morning blessing is coming on your food on your water he says I will take away sickness whoever is sick that sickness is not your portion God is saying I am taking away sickness let's believe God this morning God is saying to you I am taking away your sickness therefore believe God God, that you are healed and declare it and, and, and decree it upon your life that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed because God said it so it shall be. He says I will take away sickness from among you. Is there sickness among us? God is saying to us I am taking away that sickness this morning. You are no longer sick. The symptoms may remain but God is saying to you you are not sick anymore. You are not sick, says the spirit of the living God. He says, I'm taking sickness away and I am taking barrenness. I don't know who has miscarried. You have miscarried your purpose. You have miscarried your marriage. You have miscarried. Things have been promised. Things, they come to you, but you lose them at the point where you think, I got it, I got it. It goes away. That spirit of miscarriage in your life, the Lord is saying, none will miscarry. I am canceling the spirit of miscarriage upon your life. No longer will you lose things at the point of pay to. You think you got the job but when you are hoping and hoping it goes away. That's a spirit of miscarriage. The Lord says you will no longer miscarry. None will be barren. I cancel that barrenness over your life in the name of Jesus. That womb, that spiritual womb is going to carry. The Lord says I'm laying a seed in that spiritual womb and you are going to carry, you are going to carry things to purpose. The marriage, you are promised, you think you are going to get married, get married, and all of a sudden, the man disappears and changes his mind. The woman disappears, she changes his mind. The Lord says, I am canceling that demonic spirit over you. It ends now, it ends today. You will no longer miscarry your purposes. Wherever things were stolen, I am calling them forth in the name of Jesus. I am calling forth your destiny from wherever it was lost. I am calling forth everything that you have stolen, everything you miscarried. The Lord says, I am laying again a seed in that womb. I am laying again a seed in you. You are going to carry things and carry them to term. This is a season of birthing for you. This is a season of giving birth to you. You will give birth to your job. You will give birth to your business. You will give birth to your church. You will give birth to everything that you want to give birth to. For the Lord says, I am opening that womb. Manda riboshaya. Rebe akata rabashite. Manda riboko sete rebosha. Father, womb so much has been stolen for us. We thank you this morning that you are healing our food and our water. You say sickness is not our portion. Disease is not our portion. We will not miscarry. Lord, I cancel and I bind the spirit of miscarriage, the barrenness. Oh, Shataya, Rebea Kadara Bo Shataya, Rebeke Setere Bosha. Many of us have walked in barrenness for a while now. But you are declaring that barren season. It is over. I believe it. Oh, barrenness is over. Barrenness. Barrenness is over. Oh, the Lord says, I'm laying something in your hand. No longer will you be barren. Oh, Shanda Ribo Koseter. Azupinda. Usebenzele Pansi. Azupindu Zalele Pansi. You've been trying 
Like Jeremiah says, why I do everything that I endeavor end up in disappointment? And the Lord said to Jeremiah, if you run with men and they tire you out, how are you going to run with horses? The Lord is calling us somebody to run with horses. You have been running in the wrong lane. You have been running with men. But God is saying, you are bigger than that. You are greater than that. You have been competing in the wrong arenas. That's why you've been struggling. That's why you've been fighting. That's why you've been hated. Because you have been fighting in the wrong arenas. You have been fighting with little people. When I have called you to greater things, you are supposed to run with horses. Manderaboshaya. Somebody receive that word. The Lord is saying, I am pushing you to run with horses. I am pushing you to your leagues. You have been in the wrong leagues. That's why you never fit. That's why you are hated. Because it's not your league. They are jealous. Because it's not your league. You are above them. You are superior. Because it's not your league. The Lord says you are running in the wrong lane. You are running in the wrong race. You are running with men. And you should be galloping with horses. You are called to gallop. You are called to gallop. I hear the sound of galloping horses. You are called to gallop. You are not a runner. You are a galloper. Oh, that's why you, you keep on trampling on people's feet. That's why you are an offense because you are not a runner. You are a galloper. Oh, gallop somebody. Go back and find your lane and find your league and find your tribe and find your clan and find your people. The Lord says, I am calling you to run. Mandera Boshai Rebea Kabara Suteya Lekebetea Suteya O Shanda Kabara Suta O stop limiting yourself. Stop Mandari Boshai Stop fitting yourself into boxes. Mandari Bokoseteya. You are an eagle. Oh, spread your wings. Mandere Bosha. Oh, Rabakata. Oh, don't squeeze those wings. Spread those wings. Says God, you have tried to fit in for it too long. Oh, you are not called to fit in, but you are called to gallop. Mandere Bosha. By the rivers, by the thickets in the Jordan, you are closing yourself in walls when the spaces, spacious spaces that are waiting for you. Oh, Mandaribosha, you are called to run by the thickets in the Jordan, not in rooms, not in small places. Oh, Shaya, Rebea, Kataya, Lebeke, Seteya, Ushanda, Kabara, Suteya, you are called by the thickets in the Jordan. Yes, spacious land, spacious places await you says God stop squeezing yourself stop limiting yourself run by the thickets and the Jordan says God that is your portion that is your portion that is your portion you are not called for the places that you are trying to fit yourself in that is not where you are supposed to go. Go and gallop. Go and gallop, 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 gallop. Gallop somebody. I see acceleration. The Lord is accelerating somebody. Somebody's destiny is being accelerated. Oh, there's a galloping anointing that is coming upon you. Acceleration. Things are coming sooner than you expected. The Lord says, I'm squeezing time. I am pressing on time for you, the Lord says, I am compressing time for you to receive. Things are coming sooner than you expected. They are coming sooner. There's a galloping anointing upon your life. Oh, the speed. The Lord says, I am giving speed. Elijah, Manda, Riboshaya, outran the horses of Ahab. The Lord says, acceleration. Speed is coming upon some speed. Speed, speed. You thought this was going to come 10 years from now, but 
the Lord is saying, I am giving you speed. You are going to unrun the horses of, El- of Ahab. Speed is your portion. Speed, 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 acceleration, 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 acceleration. It is your portion, says God. You will accelerate, you will accelerate. You are not going to run with man. You are not going to wait for man. The Lord says, I am calling you to greater things, greater heights, greater anointing. That is your portion. That is your portion. That is your portion. In the name of Jesus. I want us to go to the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel, chapter number 13. 1 Samuel, chapter number 13. I will read from verse number 7. And some of the Hebrews cross over the Jordan. They cross over the Jordan to the land of God and Gilead. As for Saul, he was still in Gilgal, and all the people followed him, trembling. Then he waited seven days according to the time set by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. So Saul said, Bring a burnt offering and peace offering here to me. And he offered the burnt offering. Now it happened as soon as he had finished presenting the burnt offering. Then Samuel came and Saul went out to meet him that he might greet him. And Samuel said, what have you done? Saul said, when I saw that the people were scattered from me and that you did not come within the days appointed and the Philistine gathered at Michmash, the Philistine will now come down to me at Gilgal and have not made supplication. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom shall not continue. I want us to, to pray for the spirit of delay. I want us to pray against the spirit of delay. Delay in our lives. Hey, yes, but yes, yes. Delay causes us to make unnecessary mistakes, unnecessary decisions, bad decisions. So, Samuel was supposed to come seven days before, but Samuel came in seven days later. Samuel was delayed. As a result, it messed up Saul's life. When there's a delay, we tend to panic. When there's a delay, it causes us to make bad mistakes, bad decisions. Therefore, I want us to fight against the spirit of delay because it costs us precious things. Saul lost his kingship. He lost what was precious to him because of the delay of Samuel. It made Saul to do stupid things, to act foolishly. Therefore delays cause foolishness. Delays are ungodly. They make us make foolish decisions because we are human. Therefore I want us to pray for the spirit of delay. We have given birth to kids we were not supposed to have because our marriages did not come at the time we were supposed to come. We were made and made loans because the monies we were expecting did not come at the time they were supposed to come. We went and associated with the wrong people, the wrong crowd, because the people that were supposed to come into my destiny, they were delayed. They did not come. Therefore, I want you us to pray and say, Father, no more delay. We cancel the spirit of delay. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, so lost something precious because of a delay. We cancel any spirit of delay in our lives. Oh God, the things that are supposed to come, now let them come. Every delay, every prince of Persia, oh God, that is holding our things, send an angel, dispatch an angelic company to go and fetch our destinies. Oh God, delay with cost us delay causes foolishness oh god we have made foolish decision because of the delay
delays in our lives. We cancel, we bind the spirit of delay. No more delay, no more delay, no more delay. What is due to us, let it come in the right time, in the right season. Oh God, we speak, oh Father, no more delay. We cancel the delays that are currently hanging right now in the name of Jesus. The things that were due to us yesterday that are delayed. Oh God, we cancel those delays and we pull forth our things. We pull forth. We pull forth our destinies. We pull forth our possessions in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that marriages are coming. No more delay. Husbands are coming. No more delay. Wives are coming. No more delay. Reunions are coming. No more delay. Destiny helpers are coming. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. It will cost us. It costs us time. We are not getting younger. Delays are costing us time. Oh God. Oh Father. No more delays in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh we cancel every delay. Release oh God. Release our churches. Those who are supposed to have churches. Let them come now. No more delays. Those who are supposed to get, oh God, promotions, no more delay. Let them come now in the name of Jesus. Those, oh God, who are supposed to get married, no more delays. Those who are supposed to get children, no more delays in the name of Jesus. We speak the supernatural power of God to open doors, to do things that we cannot do by ourselves. No more foolishness in the name of Jesus. We will not act foolishly because of delays. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Genesis 41, verse 9 to 14. It says, Then the chief cupbearer said to Pharaoh, Today I am reminded of my shortcomings. Because of the delay of the cupbearer, Joseph spent two years in prison. Can you believe that? Two years is spent in prison because of the delays. No more delays. No more delays. We cannot be costed this much because of delays. And then it says, today I am reminded of my shortcomings. Pharaoh was once angry with his servants. And he imprisoned me and the chief baker in the house of the captain of the guard. Each of us had a dream that same night and each dream had a meaning of its own. Now a young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard. We told him our dreams and he interpreted and them as forgiving each man interpretation of this dream. And things turned out exactly as he interpreted it. Verse 14, so Pharaoh went so for, sent for Joseph and he was quickly brought from the dungeon. When he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. I want us to pray that our destiny help us, must remember us now, now, not two years later. We don't want a situation where somebody says, I've been, where have you been? I've been looking for you. That, that's the enemy having stolen and, and veiled and covered us. If people were looking for us and we, they could not find us with all the resources that are there to find us, that is a veil by the enemy. Let us be unveiled in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray first and say, Father, unveil us. Let us not be hidden. Let us not be, be forgotten in the name of Jesus. Can we lift up that prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak against the veil. Every person listening to my voice, let them be unveiled by the blood of Jesus, by the name of Jesus. Remove every veil that is covering us wherever our names are buried. Let the earth vomit our names. Let computers holding our names, let them release our our names, oh God, our things buried in piles. Let the pile, oh God, loose our things. Let there be a shaking, oh God, and let our things be loosed from the pile in the name of Jesus. No more be to being forgotten. Let our phone numbers be remembered. Let the people meet the relevant people that will take them to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, oh God, we cancel every veil in the name of Jesus. Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, I want us to pray that let our destiny help us locate us at the right time. Not later than the right time. 
not later than the right time. Father, in the name of Jesus, every destiny helper, Lord, there are people that are connected to our destinies. Let every destiny helper or locate us. Let them open the doors that they are supposed to open. The cup bearer mentioned Joseph to Pharaoh and Joseph stood before Pharaoh clean and shaven. Lord, oh God, let our destiny help us. Oh God, remember us. Let them take us before great men. Let them take us before kings, governors, and rulers in the name of Jesus. Let our names be mentioned in the right rooms to the right people in the name of Jesus. Let our CVs land to the right hands in the name of Jesus. Let, oh God, our phone numbers be in the right hands. Oh God, people that will not sit over our destiny. Let every thing that is sitting upon our destiny, upon our faces, upon our names. Let them be removed. Let them catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. Anything that is pressing down our destiny, anything that is standing against the doors of our destiny, let them catch fire now in the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God over anything that is standing against our destiny. Let our destiny be help us. Oh God, be moved wherever they are. Let them think about us. Oh God, let them, oh Father, be, be shaken about us. Let them be restless about us. Let them want to do something. Let us come to their memory. Let us come to their minds in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, oh God. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We will not be forgotten. We will not be forgotten. We will not be delayed. Oh, not two years in a prison. In the name of Jesus. Over. It is over. It is over. It is over. In Jesus' name. One more scripture and we close. Joel chapter 2 verse number 25. It says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten. The kanga worm, the caterpillar and the palmer worm, the great army which I sent among you. The Lord says, I will restore. I will restore. Let us pray for a season of restoration. We have lost so much saints. We have lost time. We have lost age. We, we have lost strength. We have lost so much. It's all been stolen by the enemy. Delays have cost us delays have made us to be foolish we have made decisions that have cost us because of delays i want us to pray and say father we welcome a season of restoration let's pray that prayer father in the name of jesus we thank you lord that you promise us to restore mandari boshaya restore mandari bokose tere bosha restore lord restore restore everything the enemy has stolen and out of every tear that we have cried because of the enemy let us be restored in the name of jesus every pain every moment lord restore our time restore our resources restore lord oh god our friends that we have lost oh god sisters that that we have lost brothers, that we have lost wives, that we have lost, oh God, husbands, that we have lost, restore in the name of Jesus, children, that we have lost jobs, businesses, monies, houses, lands, cars, things we have lost, we cry, restore in the name of Jesus, restore, Lord, oh God, church members that we lost, restore, we cry, restore jobs, that were promotions, that were stolen from us. We cry, restore in the name of Jesus. Restore, Lord, revelations stolen from us. Oh, Father, time stolen lying in hospital beds, lying in bed sick. Oh, restore in the name of Jesus any resource that is vulnerable to us, that has been stolen by the enemy. Restore. We cry, restore. We cry, restore. We cry, restore in the name of Jesus. Restore Restore, Lord. Restore, 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 oh God. Restore in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are a great God. 
You are an awesome God. There is no one like you. We thank you that you are a God that answers prayer. Lord Father, you hear the cries of your people and you answer them. Lord, thank you that you have heard the cries of our heart this afternoon and you come, you have, you have come down to answer. You have come down to answer us. You have come down, Lord. You have come down to answer us. We bless you, Father. We honor you, Lord. We lift your name on high in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. I see you, Prophet Busisiwe. Thank you for coming in. Who else uh, that I did not acknowledge? Who else is here? Don't forget. Thank you for coming in. Um, Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Paul, thank you so much for coming in. Who else did not acknowledge? Elisa, thank you so much. Uh, Apostle Zoe, thank you so much, woman of God. Uh, Pastor Thomas said thank you, woman of God, for coming in. Uh, <clears throat> Yolisa, thank you, my baby, for coming in. Uh, Apostle Onati, uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, who else? Pastor Lifa, thank you for coming in. Bless you, bless you, man of God. Uh, who else is here that I did not acknowledge? I think it's everybody. Uh, I hope I did not miss anybody. Thank you, guys. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. Uh, thank you. I hope you were blessed. I thank you for coming and fight with me. I was in a fighting mood. And I thank you that you have come to join me. And I trust that you are blessed. I trust that your spirit fought as I was fighting. Numfundi, so I think I saw you sometime as well. Thank you so much for coming in. God bless you. I love you so much. I love you. Please keep me in your prayers. <laughs> I'm fighting so many battles. Keep me in your prayers. Just mention me before God. Whatever that your spirit lays about me, just mention it before God. I appreciate that. I love you. Have a wonderful day, Father, and be blessed. Amen.